course because it will go inside the box and then put it onto your offer it up to your book block, uh, your box ends make sure it's butted up of course and put it on and you'll, you'll have a few few seconds whereby it'll be okay before it sets and then apply a bit of pressure because that's what makes things stick actually and it might try and try and stick to the board itself here that back end might try and stick um, but it's it's just a matter of getting the, the, the right level and the right thing once you've done it a few times you'll you'll be okay I'm not going to be using that for a bit and then just to break the seal a bit oh it doesn't want to play this anyway just to break the seal I'm going to tap it there and then move it out and then bring it around and put the end on an end piece on glow up so we glow up one end and one side Don't forget, it will get its main strength from the, the paper that covers it. That will give it its main strength, but this will just allow it to position. I'll put that on. Try and get everything as square as you can. You can you've got a little, a little leeway. You can straighten things out with this. And it should go right to the end and they should be square at that end because that's the end of the box and try and get these as square as you can and break the seal it's not everybody's cup of tea this uh, I'll just do this end. I said I wasn't going to continue, but I will go on and do this one. Because I've never shown anybody how to do a slip case before, so I will ensure that people see this. There we go. Push. And there we go. And now what I've got to do is to put the lid on, the box lid on. Just make sure everything's tickety boo. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So what I'll do. And glue up the top of the box. Go a little bit further up to get you into shot. And put a, a little bit of glue on the top. And once this is glued on, you can put a fair bit of, of weight on the top of this. Not for the centre, but you can put a piece of uh, card across to take the weight and then it will press the ends in and hold things while it sets.
Okay, so I'll put the lid on. Or the ends, the side, I should say. The last side. Yeah, and put a couple of cards down. Like so. Spread the white. And then put a bit of weight on it. Just to hold it in position. And now I can remove me F clamp. That's an F clamp if nobody sees one before it. Because it's shaped like an F. Isn't that easy? <laughs> and I take my trusty board out of the way. And there I'll switch off. And let it dry, and then we'll show you what uh, what comes next. Okay, well, I've checked that the book goes in the box, fits in the box, and uh, it's come out to the dimensions that I want. And she can get her fingers on this quite easily, and it does pull in and out all right at the moment. But when I put this more paper to go inside, don't forget so. I'm hoping that I've left enough room. Well, I should have not left enough room. And uh, that's looking okay. That side of it's looking okay. Now, the paper isn't all that thick, so we should be okay. And the box, I've had to do a few little bits and pieces on it. I've had to rub it down. I've got a little sander here, sanding tool, which I use, rough and smooth. I've shown this so many times, it's getting, it must be spider's webs on it. And you just rub it. To, to get off the bits and pieces that are too high or the imperfections that you don't want and uh, it's only it's only card and card is only wood don't forget so when you rub it you're just rubbing a piece of wood really but it is dusty so make sure you take it outside you can't do it inside really it's not something you can do on the inside of the inside of the house um, that makes you a dirty whatever anyway I shan't go into that bit and uh, it's looking it's not looking too bad so it's squared off and it will look even better once the paper's on and uh, that's that bit. So now what I've done is I've got my piece of paper which was left from, remember I did the book end on it, the book was done with it and uh, I've put markings on but I'll show you the markings are not all that good I'm very sorry it's because I'm using a lead pencil and uh, the, the back is dark to start with so You'll have to bear with me and uh, I'll do my best to show you what I'm, I'm doing. And um, what you do is you place the box on the piece of paper that you're going to use. Mine in this case is the same as I've done the book in. And you line up and leave about half an inch at the front. I have a little ruler which I, I tend to use all the time which goes to quite long length and I put it on the front and it's about half an inch so it goes to half an inch, I don't do much measuring and I put it at half an inch and then what I do, I go around the box with my pencil and mark the dimensions like so and then I lift the box up gently, to turn it on its side like this on its side and you can't get much more accurate than this and then once you've got the book in the air, do another line down here. And that will give you the next angle. And then roll the box over without moving it onto the next location. And you'll see that these have gone in pretty flush to my
to my original places that I was in and once you've got there you put another line in and around the box so you end up with a centre unit here, this bit here all marked out so you've got half an inch at the front I'll try and lift that up for you you've got half an inch marked at the front like so and then you turn the box over after drawing a line in front of it and then you draw a line at the back of the box and then turn the box over again so you've got one draw line two draw line and at the ends and that will give you the shape and then what I do is I put about depending on the size of the box if the box is about an inch I use my ruler and just go around the outside eyeball it and draw a line all the way around like so and it's all the same size as the ruler apart from the front end which is only half an inch and then what you do is you glue up the box and you place it on and you let it dry but prior to that what I normally do is I cut to shape the paper because the paper is a bit bulky and I, I don't want it this, this size so I'll cut off the bits up and this is where you save your paper because it stops you using massive amounts and not um, it's such a large area this I can't, can't get in to show you everything I'll see if I can pull back a bit more yeah pull back so I'll cut down and just cut out the outer dimensions of the of the paper it's so simple this it's ridiculous I tend to forget uh, little bits and pieces because it is so simple There we are, and I'll remove the excess, and that can be used for something else. We might get a book or, or something out of it, or a back of a book or something. You won't get a book on a case, but you'll get the back of a book easily, quite easily, out of that. So we won't throw that away, we'll save that. Put it into a safe location. It's taking me longer to put that away than it is to tell you how to do things. And this piece of card here, half an inch in width, is quite handy because I, you tend to use it all the time for... Because you're going to cut off the bits at the end which are going to go over because your turnovers are only half an inch into the inside of the box. They're only going to be half an inch in all the way around so I, you tend to use this at the ends and etc to cut off the shape. So I do very little measuring. I don't, I don't tend to measure very much. Anyway there she is and that's all you need to cover the box and how you do that I'll show you in the next part okay well there we are start again then uh, for this little exercise I'm using this but you can use anything virtually with the straight edge bit of card a ruler whatever you like um, I tend to eyeball it but I'm going to use this today just to show you that uh, what you're supposed to do and then um, we'll glue it one side of the box get my trusty glue liberal application And making a slipcase is pretty much similar to making a drop hinge box or top spine box, whichever you want to prefer. A few more, few more bits and pieces, but uh, easy enough to do. Make sure the edges have got 
sufficient iron. Don't want too much because we don't want it to 